Hey guys, this is Drew from Smart Home Makers. Today in this video, I'm going to give you a quick demo on actionable notifications in Home Assistant after the release 2021.05. We're in Home Assistant. Let me show you how easy it is to do actionable notifications now compared to the past. Previously, you had to set up this category and use category push and it added a little bit more of complexity and it was a bit of a nightmare to get to refresh on your mobile phone. Now it's super, super simple. What you actually need to do is, is define data, actions, then I'm adding a key, for example, alarm, and a title, which is going to be a title that's going to come into the notification. And you have several other options, for example, like authentication required, and you can have them or not have them in. This will enable you, for example, to determine that you need to unlock your phone for you to be able to tap this button. The actual notifications, if you don't know what they are, are basically buttons that appear under a notification that you can actually tap. That can trigger an event home assistant that then can trigger an automation. I'm also adding a camera stream, which has been super simple to do. Just add in the entity ID, camera dot, and whatever your camera is. So I'm going to show you how this actually works. I'm going to start recording on my phone and I'm going to put it up on the screen right now. So now I've got this on my phone. So what I'm going to do is call service. And we've got the notification appearing here. So if I hard press it, I've got an, an immediate stream of the camera coming in. I have a sound alarm button. And what you can do is if I click sound alarm button, that will trigger an automation. But at the moment I disabled it. So if I click or tap on sound alarm, nothing happens. So that's fine so far. Now let me show you a quick automation using this these parameters so jumped into the automations ui builder you can use automations.yaml if you're doing coding that's fine so i'm creating a quick one called event test i'm going to enable it this time so the thing you're going to need to do is use trigger type is event the event type is mobile underscore app underscore notification underscore action this is fixed so you're going to have need this exactly as it is Event data, I'm putting action is alarm. So this alarm needs to match the text that you put over here. And what I'm doing is just to uh, test this out, I'm sending another notification back to the same phone with a message saying event, and I can change this to event alarm has been triggered. So that's been saved, I've got my phone up. So what we'll do is we'll go back to the developer tools, click on call service. It's come through, so I hard tap on it on my iPhone, got sound alarm, so I'm going to tap on sound alarm. And now we've got the, here we go, event alarm has been triggered. So that actually proves that we're able to use the buttons to trigger events and automations in Home Assistant. If you haven't already updated your Home Assistant the latest version 2021.05, you need to do so. You also need to update your mobile app on your device to that latest version. So if you haven't got uh, either of the two, done this is not going to work if this was valuable information let me know by smashing that like button subscribe to the channel if you want to be up to date with all new home assistant smart home and automation ideas that are going to drop in the future click on this next video to see how i use actual notifications to do smart deliveries with my garage door google click on this next video to see how i do smart deliveries with home assistant and actual notification this was Gio from Smart Home Makers. I hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.